There are websites that accept debit or credit card without OTP verification. And I would like you to be aware so that you can take care of your card very well because scammers are using it to have access to your money. Welcome to Rolladel Business. In today's video, we want to make sure you keep your credit or debit safe and avoid giving it to anyone you know that is making use of this website we will list in this video because they likely use it to have access to your money without your permission. Are you new to this channel and would like to receive more interesting videos like this? Kindly subscribe to us and turn on the notification bell. If you find this video useful, do well to like and share with your friends too. Please note that Rolladel Business is not in any way promoting or encouraging any form of cybercrime with this video, rather to inform and educate their viewers on this channel. Don't ever use it against others because if you do, you are responsible for the consequences of indulging in this format. I have a similar video where I show you how they hack ATM cards. You can check it out later. Most of them, once they have picked up someone's debit card or credit card and intend to shop with it, they already know that they will have obstacles. One of the obstacles is a popular OTP that is used to verify the owner of a debit card and that's why they make use of this website in order to bypass it. If you don't know what OTP is all about, then the OTP known as One Time Password is used to stop strangers from using someone's debit card if they want to shop online. So, if you in any way misplace your card, Rodel Business advises you contact your card provider immediately in order to block it because your money is no longer safe. Now, here are three websites that accept debit or credit card without OTP verification. War, buy gift card from MakeMyTrip.com. If they have your credit or debit card and wish to shop online without OTP, Make My Trip Stores is a cool place to shop online without OTP. It is one of the shopping sites that OTP most scammers use today because they don't send OTP through their payment platforms. They just visit their stores and purchase gift cards with someone else's credit or debit card and then sell the gift card to vendors in their country. This is an easy way for them to shop online without OTP. 2. Buy third party software from Grammarly.com Most scammers who don't need this software, but there are people out there who need it. Their main aim is to buy and resell to people who actually need the software. It's not only Grammarly.com, there is a lot of software out there too, so it depends on the one they can easily find buyers for. They just visit their website and subscribe, then start selling the accounts to different buyers. For Grammarly.com, they look for writers and let them buy it at a cheaper price. It is simple and very easy to achieve by them, so be aware when giving out your credit details. 3. Buy domain and hosting from Namecheap.com In this case, they just inform people that they can buy a domain and host for them at a cheaper price. Then, after the agreement with the buyer, they go ahead and buy it. Most of those websites don't request OTP because the payment gateway is not linked to any bank. Well, that doesn't mean that they support illegal activities because sometimes they used to suspend users' accounts if suspicious activities were found. As long as the card information is correct on this website, scammers are good to go. I hope you learned something from these videos. Let me see your comment below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends on social media. Thanks for watching and bye for now.